Today's topic is Lysander Spooner and the American Letter Mail Company. You may not have ever heard about Lysander Spooner. He's a very interesting guy, though. In 1808, he was born, which makes him about the same age as Robert E. Lee and Abraham Lincoln. We don't know a lot about his early life. He became a lawyer in 1833, but in 1844, he started a company called the American Letter Mail Company to deliver letters between several cities on the East Coast. And the reason he did this was that in 1844, the post office was charging 14 and a half cents on average to deliver a letter. That doesn't seem like a lot, but at the time, coins were made out of silver. And 14 and a half cents was equivalent to about three and a half grams of silver. Now today, the price of silver fluctuates quite a bit, but it's in the general neighborhood of $30 an ounce over the last couple of years, which means that in today's dollars, it cost about $3.50 to deliver a, a letter in 1844. That's obviously a lot more than what we pay now, so where was that extra money going? Well, in a large, to a large extent, it was going to the politically connected. And the way this works was that politicians would give special treatment to certain people or certain companies in respect to the post office. So a transportation company that had political allies might get to deliver the mail. Or a family member of a politician might get one of the comfortable jobs that at the post office where there was very little risk of losing your job. But Lysander Spooner came along in 1844 and said that he could lower the rates, and he did. He charged a lot lower prices to deliver mail in these cities. The post office argued that what he was doing was unconstitutional. It said that Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution gave the post office or the Congress the sole right, the sole uh, the exclusive right to operate a mail delivery business in the United States. Lysander Spooner, however, pointed out that Article 1, Section 8 only gives Congress the power to do it. It doesn't give them the exclusive power to do it. He argued that anyone could run a mail company, not just the United States federal government. However, in 1845, Congress passed a law obviously disagreeing with Lysander Spooner, that closed some loopholes that had allowed Lysander Spooner to stay in business. So in 1845, Lysander Spooner was forced out of business by the government. However, in the end, he actually won, because in 1845, that same law lowered the price of mail, of delivering a letter, to six cents. And then in 1851, the price dropped again to three cents. So even though the government forced Lysander Spooner out of business, Lysander Spooner still had the last laugh because he was instrumental in forcing the government to lower the rates of mail to something much closer to what we pay today. So when we pay for stamps at the post office, remember, Lysander Spooner, he may have had just a little bit to do with lowering that price.